am Axel Carolyn and this is Trailers from Hell. I'm here to talk about 1981's Encounters of the Spooky Kind. Um, it's a movie that's very close to my heart. I Most of my memories of watching movies as a teenager are linked to my brother, Carl. And we have we grew up on James Bond movies and on action movies and on things like Schwarzenegger. And we still love that stuff, but he kind of went more into action movies and I really specialized into horror. So when we were teenagers, we would take each other on those crazy adventures where we'd watch tons of movies that had the same theme. Like at some point he got obsessed with Italian Hercules movies. So we would try as hard as we could because it was hard because there was no internet to look at all kinds of stuff like we can do today. But we had to source all those crazy movies and try to watch as many as possible in as little time as possible. And then I would go on to zombie movies from 1980, the 1980s because I'd seen Reanimator and then I got obsessed. And then and at some point he went to see Lethal Weapon 4 and he discovered Jet Li. And he started watching all of Jet Li's movies. And then he started watching tons of Jackie Chan. There were like a hundred. Um, and then we started watching a ton of Chinese movies, basically everything we could find. And it was really hard to find at the time because no one was releasing that stuff. It's even hard to find today. Um, and there was this little Chinese supermarket in the heart of Brussels where I lived. And in the basement was this video store that was full of pirated films and the clerk could barely speak anything else than Cantonese. So we would show up and we'd have the names of the actors and we tried to find the names in Chinese and we would give him the list and then he would try to figure out which film we're talking about because the titles obviously were never the same that the ones he had. And every once in a while we'd get something wildly different from what we wanted, but sometimes it would lead to absolute gems. And there was one time where we brought back encounters of the spooky kind. First of all, I love this trailer. I think it perfectly encapsulates how wacky and fun and energetic and spooky and relentless this movie really is. It's kind of like a Chinese evil bit too. The premise is kind of genius in its simplicity. On the dare, a man accepts to spend the night in a haunted mausoleum, unaware he's been set up and the corpse is being brought back by an evil necromancer to kill him. Far as I'm aware, this is the movie that introduced the world to the Chinese legend of the Jiangxi, or the hopping vampire. As you can see in the trailer, Chinese zombies hop with their arms outstretched. And in the old days, when someone died away from their village, it was illegal to bring the bodies back without hiring official help, which could be very expensive. So some poor people would travel at night and they'd dress in black to avoid being seen, and they would carry the corpse on their backs with the body's arms straightened by bamboo sticks on their shoulders. So to people who would see them, it would look as though the corpse was floating and hopping with its arms in front of them. Folklore says that there were ways in which the corpses could be controlled, like sacred scrolls and prayers, and we see a whole bunch of that in the movie, that the vampire is kind of almost radio controlled, and it's to all those rituals led the French to call the movie The Chinese Exorcist as the title. Encounters of the Spooky Kind was so popular that it launched a whole subgenre of hopping vampire movies, like the Mr. Vampire series. It stars and is directed by Sammo Hung, and although he went on to be quite a celebrity and do a lot of really cool stuff, I'm personal favorite besides this one would be Enter the Fat Dragon, but I'd argue that this one is his masterpiece. 